As far as cooking locations go, it does not get much better. It's a little cliche. We're surrounded by macadamia trees down at the farm. There's kids running around cracking macadamias. I've taken a little inspo from that and come up with this dish on the spot. So we've got our wood fire barbie on. We're going to do a charred curry dish with some dates, some macadamias, a little herb dressing, and some parmigiano reggiano. Let's do it. We need our old favourite, a jar, because I love dressings in jars. To emulsify this guy, we've got some Dijon mustard. We're going straight in with about a teaspoon and a half of that. Our acid, apple cider vinegar, about 30 mils, and the juice of a lemon. From there, we're going in with my rule of thumb. What's my rule of thumb for a dressing? One part acid to two parts olive oil or fat. We don't really need to measure it, because look, because it's not emulsified yet, you get your acid on the bottom, and you get your fat that rises to the top, because I'm going to chop coriander, parsley, and garlic, and that's going in. Now, I need a clove of garlic, and we want that minster. Super duper fine. Let's just put a bit of salt over the top of the garlic, and then we'll mince it down with the back of our knife. That's going to give a little bit of heat to the dressing. It can go in. A good crack of black pepper, a good whack of sea salt, lid on, and then shake. Margarita. <laughs> That's our dressing done. So that's going to be acidic, it's going to be punchy, it's going to be packed with herbs, and that's going to go really well against these guys. It's going to be charred, it's going to be sweet. So we're trying to balance this dish all out. I thought we can't find any, eh? All the kids have got them. There's no point following me. I can't actually find any. Oh, yeah. That was easy. Let me tell you what's happened to these, because yes, they were pulled out of the garden just up there, parboil them, and then we can get a nice char on the outside. They'll be cooked fully. Salt, olive oil, and then this is just basically so that the heat has something to latch onto, so it's not that dry carrot in there. The olive oil transfers the heat from the barbecue to the carrot, because that's looking so f***ing good from where I'm standing. Crossing, couple more tosses. Oh, thanks for the logie. And now let's get our fire sorted. So we've got a good coal mound here. We're just going to break them down. Right, let's get them on. Let's get them on. So carrots onto our coals. This excites me. This is how cooking should be. My goodness. In all seriousness, though, this is pretty cool. That stuff was in the ground just up there like an hour ago. And now it's sitting over coals and about to get eaten. <laughs> Yeah, like that. Oh, the higher you get, the more epic it looks. Let's get all the other ingredients in, in our salad, in our bowl. Dates. I'm just going to rip the seeds out and then just roughly tear those little bits of sweetness that'll pop throughout our salad. Maccas, just halve them. They can go straight in. Let's get some of these smaller guys. Like, honestly, you know that's going to be good. And then Jono's best mate, our sorrel. Those leaves can just go on top. Salt, obviously. Black pepper. And then our dressing over the top. Really gently just toss that around. And then let's go onto our plate. So let's just go with a bit of that dressing. And then finally, just some Parmigiano Reggiano. That's just going to give it a bit of extra bite. I think you can tell how bloody happy I am. I could not do a show about Australia's menu without coming to this place, the farm. For me, this is what it's all about, getting produce out of the ground up there and putting it on a plate right there. That's it.